Hi everyone, so now I'm going to show you how to build a fire extinguisher. In order to build this, we need a rolling board. Please check out our manual to know more about how to construct a rolling board. And uh, I need batteries. I'll be using our DC motor connected to a propeller, a scissor, and I'm having some tapes. So uh, to detect the fire, I'm using a IR sensor. So the concept of the project is something like this. First, what we're going to do is we're going to lit up a candle. As candle light is full of IR radiation, we are going to detect the IR radiation using this IR receivers, what is available, which is available in your kit. And through this, we are going to make your rolling pot to put off the fire using this fan. So let me show you how to build this project. First, as I just said, construct your rolling pot. Once you are done with that, next thing is you need to take up IR receiver. So this is an IR receiver and I have bent it here. Okay, once this is done, so let me put a tape to this. Okay, I have taken a small tape over here and I am going to tape it around the IR receiver. Okay, now how this is going to help you is now this is more focused towards the side and what are the radiation which are falling from sideways from the back so that gets eliminated. Now connect your IR receiver to sensor port in your B box that is to A1. Make sure the longer leg is going to negative of A1 and the shorter leg is going to positive of A1. So once this is done, now take your uh, DC motor and uh, cut a small piece of this is a double sided foam tape or it's also called as foam tape stick this to your B box and fix this motor with the tape Make sure your fan or the propeller wings doesn't touch the receiver. Now connect this wire or the other end of the motor to pin G4. We connect this motor pin to G4. Uh, let me recap this once again. So both the motors are connected to M1 and M2. This DC gate motors which are connected to wheels so those are connected to motor 1 and motor 2 and the fan is connected to pin G1 now once this is done you can connect your batteries and uh, the V box is ready for programming now I'm going to show you what will happen if you don't bend the IR sensor so first let me take a IR sensor which is right and connect this to pin A1 in your B-box. Okay, all done. So now you can clearly see that your propeller is touching and it's brushing your IR sensor. So this may damage your IR sensor or it will shake IR sensor all the time when the propeller is rotating. So what I will do is I will remove this and bend your IR sensor something like this once this is done now I'm going to connect this to pin A1 in your B box the same pin now you can clearly see your propeller is not touching the IR sensor so this doesn't even shake or the, this doesn't get even damaged take up three stages over here in order to extinguish the fire. The first step is to rotate your rolling board when there is no fire and as soon as it detects the fire 
it will start moving towards the fire and somewhere around 10 centimeters when it is away from 10 centimeters from the fire uh, your bot your rolling bot will stop and it will put on your fan so let me show you how to program this you have connected your IR sensor so first you need to enable pin A1 as input analog once this is done save your file and upload now once your program is uploaded go to B profiler click on add to read make sure the component is A1 and click on play now you can see the minimum value is somewhere around 70 so 70 is the minimum value when you have not lit up your candle so once you lit up your candle and once you focus towards candle your sensor value goes up so you can see that your sensor value is somewhere around 500 500 to 510 so you can see that the range is from 70 to 500 so note down the minimum and maximum value which is 550 and 500 and close it take a decision connect that to start and in the input select a1 is in between 0 to let me give you give the number slightly greater than the minimum value the minimum value was 50 so let me give minimum value of 70 slightly greater than so at this state it is like there is no fire or your candle is not lit up so what I need to do is I need to put on G1 and make sure your rolling bot rotates to do to do this you need to just put on G1 now copy the decision connect that to the previous decision and in the property panel make this as 71 and give it as 500 okay see and connect copy and another output and connect that to Y and here what you need to do is you need to move your bot in forward direction so let me put on G1 and G3 which will make your bot to move in forward direction now let me copy another decision so this is to stop and put on your fan so let me copy the other output and connect this to the decision now what I need to do is I need to stop G2 and G3 and put on G4 so a G4 is a pin wherein which I have connected my fan so these are the three steps which you need to follow the first is to rotate when uh, no fire is detected and second one is to move towards the fire and third one is to stop your rolling bot and put on your fan so this is all the programming that what you need to build your fire extinguisher you can upload your program now your rolling boat is rotating now and as soon as you put on your candle the IR radiations present in the candle is detected by your B box and it stops rotating and move towards the candle it goes near the candle and puts on the fan making sure it puts off the fire and it starts rotating searching for fire around it